And now, effective communication with Phil Zeller, CEO, Dale Carnegie, Southwest Michigan. So, have you seen any social media hand grenades lately? You know, the ones where somebody just throws a, a claim out there and a, and a startling thing to shake you up and it blows everything up. And you ask yourself, why did this person post this? Why did they put this thing out here that is just mean-spirited and basically has little to any evidence behind it whatsoever? It's just a claim. And you think to yourself, why would they do this? Why would they just put out this stuff that just brings up emotions in people that are not positive? Well, there's a simple reason. There's a simple reason. They want attention. <laughs> And it's not a new concept. You know, people need attention. They want attention. So uh, there's an old saying in public relations PR, any, any PR is good PR, right? It's get this idea. People just want attention. They want to be noticed. They want to be recognized. The challenge is that we have in communication, though, about this theory is that if you just keep throwing it out there, what could happen? And I'm reminded of the Aesop fable, the fable of the... Boy who cried wolf. Remember that story, the boy who cried wolf? Well, of course, the boy was a sheep herder, and he was out. This was long ago, and he was out herding and tending to his flock of sheep. And what would happen is, of course, they were always concerned about wolves coming to attack the sheep. And the boy was told when he's tending to the sheep, if he sees a wolf and a wolf shows up to attack the sheep, to cry out to cry out, wolf, wolf. And, 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 and if he says it really loud enough and says it multiple times, somebody will come from the family, the villages will come and they'll, and they'll help and they'll get the wolf out of there so the wolf doesn't kill the sheep. Well, of course, the boy hears this story. He's out there and one night he's tending the sheep and he's out there and he's a little bored and he's all alone. He's out there with the sheep and, you know, like, like a lot of human beings, he, he wants some company, right? He wants some attention. So he decides to see if the people will actually come out. So he cries, wolf, wolf, wolf. And, of course, the villagers run out to see what's going on, to see if there is a wolf that are attacking the sheep, the flock. You know, they don't want to lose their sheep. They need that wool, right? <laughs> and, and so he does this, and like, well, where's the wolf? What happened? He's like, well, I, I just— I, I just want to see what happened, you know, and, 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 and you know, y'all came out here and, you know, I, I, I'm sorry. And so, okay, so they go back to doing their own thing. And then a little while later, it's, it's a few more days down the road, and the boy's out there again. He gets bored. And so he says, wolf, wolf, and he cries wolf again. And the villagers come out, and they're like, where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? And then I was like, well, there is no wolf. And like, didn't we talk to you about this the other day? Don't do that. You know, you're crying wolf. Don't do that. If there's a wolf, we need to come out and take care of it. You've got to stop doing this. It's getting ridiculous. So, again, more time goes by, and then, sure enough, the boy's out there again and wants more attention. So he goes, wolf, 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 and he's crying wolf, and nobody comes. The villagers don't come. They don't show up. And this time, the irony of the story is that the wolf was actually there. It was attacking the sheep, and they lost the whole flock of sheep to the wolf because the boy was basically just saying it out there, throwing it out there for attention when it wasn't happening. And then when it really happened, nobody listened to him. So when you think about communication and you want to help somebody out in communication, make sure that whatever they're putting together, whenever they put something out, a social media post or put anything out there in communication, that it's backed by facts. You have to make sure that all the evidence is there and you got to tell the truth. Don't make a claim. Don't just throw a claim hand grenade out there. This person said he wanted everybody to blah, 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 blah. Come on, give me a break. Really? Did the person really say that? Or are you just taking one line of context out of a speech they give and you're twisting the whole context of that one line? And how often does that happen today in the media or in social media posts? We see it all the time. But don't be that man. Don't be that woman. Don't be that person who post that stuff, that puts that stuff out there, because you're going to end up like that little boy who cried wolf. Nobody's going to take you seriously after a while because what you're putting up there is nothing more than conjecture. It's claims for you just to get attention. So you want to help somebody out who's doing that? Tell them about the little boy who cried wolf and tell them what happened to that, that boy and tell them what happened to the actual sheep and the people who really got hurt. So stop 
posting communication that doesn't have positive truth behind it. If you stick to the truth in all your communication, you don't have to worry about people not listening. They'll listen because you got your facts, you got the evidence, you got it put together. And then you will become a trusted person that they go to for information. And that's who you want to be to make a difference.